Hi friends, in today's video we will be only covering neuropelviology of the pelvis. So that is the arrangement of the nerves inside the female pelvis. Alright, it is very important to understand that if I look at the routine anatomy, this is how the anatomy is going to be. Here you have the obturator internus muscle. On top you also have the suas muscle. Okay, here. I'll just draw it on one side. So this is going to be your suas muscle, which is going to be exiting. And down below in the pelvis, you have the levator ani muscle. All right. So we all know this standard arrangement of anatomy, which is existent in the, in the pelvis. All right. Of course, along with this, we have the ischial spine. We have the greater lesser sciatic foramen. We have here the region, which we call as the sacrum. So this is the sacral promontory and then you have your S1, sacral 2, sacral 3, sacral 4, sacral 5 and then it leads into the coccyx. Okay. So this is your standard arrangement of anatomy. Now it is important to understand that when we look at the nerves here at the level of the sacral promontory, the main nerve gives out the vagus gives out something called as a superior hypogastric plexus. And the superior hypogastric plexus actually branches out to enter inside the pelvis. This is one of the most important nerves of the pelvis which you should understand. Because only when it reaches here, behind the uterosacral ligament, it gives off some branches which go to the rectum. It then gives off some branches which go to the uterus. And then little ahead, it gives off some branches which goes inside the bladder. But down there, it forms something called as an inferior hypogastric plexus. Okay, so we will quickly label everything we have something called as a superior okay hypogastric plexus all right and we have something called as an inferior hypogastric plexus okay so i will just actually be drawing nerves on one side from here on to make you understand everything very easily and obviously this is what we call as the hypogastric nerve this hypogastric nerve is an important nerve because this nerve helps in modulating all the activities as far as bladder function is concerned, bowel function is concerned and sexual function is concerned. All the three functions are very very important and as a result of which when we do surgeries we want to do nerve sparing surgery. So when we say nerve sparing surgeries it is the hypogastric nerve clinically which we actually wish to preserve. All right now this is one aspect of the nervous system the other important aspect of the nervous system we just start from one end on the lateral bottle of the suas muscle you have the femoral nerve the femoral nerve would exit the pelvis from there on the suas muscle you have the thin genitofemoral nerve this actually the genitofemoral nerve is lying closely in wonderful proximity to the external iliac artery. External iliac artery branches out inside the pelvis to form the internal iliac artery. Now at the confluence of the external and the internal iliac artery, you have one beautiful long nerve called as the obturator nerve and it is this nerve which exits outside the pelvis through the obturator foramen along with the obturator vessels. So here you have something called as the obturator nerve this is going to exit the foramen all right along with that you have here which i am going to mark as the genitofemoral nerve okay which is a very important nerve to supply the upper medial aspect of the thigh okay and the vulva both important aspects obturator nerve is obviously going to supply the entire adductor group of muscles and then you have the femoral nerve here all right now Apart from these important nerves, there are also certain nerves and the most important nerve in the pelvis where you have these nerve roots which are going to come out from the sacral foramen and it is going to form a huge nerve which is going to locate it deep down in the pelvis. This is the one of the thickest nerves in the body and this is what we call as the sciatic nerve. So the sciatic nerve would exit the pelvis and it is located deep down inside the pelvis. You must understand this because very close to that you will also have a branch which is going to enter inside the ischiorectal fossa and that branch which enters the ischiorectal fossa is commonly called as the pudendal nerve. Okay. Now, importance of everything very very quickly. I would change the color so that you understand the importance. Genitofemoral I already mentioned. Femoral is going to supply to the quadriceps. 
clinical anatomy important is that genitofemoral nerve forms one of the landmark borders for doing pelvic lymphadenectomy very very important obturator nerve it is going to form the landmark the caudal margin of removing pelvic lymph nodes again very important okay sciatic nerve most important nerve on the body it is going to control the entire hamstrings and very important in walking you know sciatic nerve i will just write it down here sciatic nerve has a special condition called sciatic nerve endometriosis if you see this condition you will never ever forget it because we have a huge series of these things hypogastric nerve anatomy we already mentioned and pudendal nerve is something where you give a pudendal nerve block whenever you want to operate especially so just remember with the pudendal nerve that it is the nerve to the perineum so whenever you are giving a pudendal block it is important for you to understand this now these nerves are actually located remember this as a rule they are almost always located deep inside the pelvis they are almost always going to be covered with a good amount of fat and they will be associated close to the vessels okay this is important for you to understand the more you see the anatomy of the nerves inside the pelvis it is a heavily neurovascular structure you will understand more about this any more questions we shall be happy to answer on whatsapp